Today I would like to talk to you all about a friend of mine. Many of you remember Carter. Many of you had classes with Carter. And some of you won't even know the person I'm talking about today, but we can all learn something from his life. Carter was a student at Forest Park, and he would have been in fourth grade this year. Carter was born with a condition called PMD. He was not able to walk without help or talk, but he was very good at communicating. Carter was very much just like all of you boys and girls. He had a smile and a laugh that could light up a room. He had a family that loved him very much. He had friends and teachers that adored him. He found humor in all the things that you find humor in. He laughed at poop and fart jokes. <laughs> He loved it when somebody dropped something or tripped, fell, and his fav one of his favorite shows was Impractical Jokers. Sadly, Carter passed away last summer. He was very special to us at Fort Park. So we want to be sure to let his family know how special he was to us. Last fall, during a ranger rally, we talked about perseverance. The definition of perseverance is to persist in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Or in other words, putting in hard work even when things are difficult. Carter was a great example of perseverance. He worked hard every day to do the many things that come easy to all of you. He worked hard to sit up, to walk, to communicate, and to eat. He worked hard to reach for things and to play with his toys. He worked hard to smile and to make sounds and to communicate with others. But more importantly, Carter never gave up. He fought every day and he did it with a smile on his face. Students, don't ever forget the lesson of perseverance that Carter has taught us. Several months ago, we had a Penny War challenge, and our goal was to raise money to buy a buddy bench in memory of Carter. You all did an amazing job of bringing in money and supporting the special cause, and in return, you will remember that you were able to put pie in the faces of many of your teachers and Mr. Jorgensen. As you can see, we have the memory, the memory bench, and it will be placed in our building as a reminder of Carter. And when you think of Carter, I hope you remember that you can do hard things and to persevere even when life is difficult. <sighs> to the Quinn family, thank you for sharing Carter with us. He was a bright light in our lives. He left an impact on all that knew him. His smile, his laugh, and his rottenness will never be forgotten. Before we release our balloons in memory of Carter, I would like to share a poem to the Quinn family from all of us at Forest Park. When words seem so feeble in moments like these, life so precious and death such a thief, the depth, the depth of your pain we cannot comprehend, 
but will stand alongside you in the darkness, our friend. Love is a bond that death cannot part, gone from your arms, but still held in your heart. Quinn family, we love you, and we will always love and remember Carson. <laughs> We're now going to release the balloons in memory of Carter and dedication of the Carter Quinn Memorial Bench. One. 